It's time for some retail extravaganza. With the content creator pack shopping malls by community modder King Leno you can bring your shopping experience to the next level, adding a variety of shopping malls to your city. This content creator pack offers more than 60 assets, including department stores, shopping plazas, and fast food restaurants to populate your shopping areas. And this time, we're also taking you to the movies 80s Movie Tunes is a radio station inspired by the 80s classics. Let's dive into the past with 16 tracks and around 70 minutes of music. Here's what the creator of this review has to say about it. Well, 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 King Leno, we meet again. So you went from doing um, university neighborhoods and little um, stores to literal shopping malls? I did not expect a content creator to make a comeback after what I assumed to be about 43 years ago since you did the University City um, creator pack. But it's great to see you again. Like uh, taking one more spin before the end of this game's post launch um support in terms of new content, man. Like shopping malls? Um We're gonna turn it out you but an entire crew and dedicated to it? Okay, I expected it. But not as much as a video station, but hold up. Let me let me raise my voice a bit. Let me just, you know, get the volume up in here because eighties movie tunes is definitely a major Major thumbs up for me, man. Like, god dang, one of the music tracks was even used for previous tutorials from the City Skies YouTube channel, and even um, there was some breakdowns of various aspects of the game from before this DLC even came out. Man, I'm like, hey, right, are you teasing me with some kick ass beats? Keep going, I can tell you that much. But yeah, shopping malls, man. We only got plenty of that, like, it's since 2015, like, we got that since 2015. We did it with the European theme maps, we got all that, and then we got a kind of creator pack dedicated to really shopping malls. Plus, there's even some global ones, some unique ones, but, but, I will have to put my foot down, just like the Africa Image pack, I found out that there is a building that requires Yet again, another prerequisite to unlock by, once again, more commercial zones. Okay, I'm not gonna dance around this, I'm just gonna come out right say it, just like I said in, the, in part 1 of this video, since this is part 2, and here's where I get my two cents. Number 1, I feel as though that those prerequisites was meant by possibly for the remastered version of City Skylines on Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. That's what it felt like. It felt like it was meant for next-gen consoles and not for PS4 and Xbox One. So, thank you to the City Commanders who addressed this because I hope it gets patched out because once again, I did not ask for prerequisites. I just want to get access to all the buildings that I paid my hard-earned money just to play these, um, just to add, just pretty much add new additions to my city because, you know, you can see in the background what progress are we putting every major DLC that came out since 2015 in one city. I mean, I could put so much, like, the, 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 the possibilities are limitless, I can tell you that much. But it's, it's shopping malls, man. I'm like, okay, I can make a entire district trip, but that'll take some time though, because the, pretty much the commercial specialization, um, the pretty much the blue bar, is from the stinkiest point. While pretty much the, um, industrial slash financial and the residential bars have no problems. It's just that it's the commercial one that I got beef with because every time I put up something fancy or based on previous DLCs or creator packs, it's always gonna be not enough customers. Not enough, not enough goods being sold. Okay, I don't care. Oh, by the way, did you see that multi-story car park? Yeah. During this time that this DLC and well, pretty much this second bundle worth of three cut creator packs and radio stations coming out, let's say we got a free update that made the graphics a bit muddy, but the team over at Colossal Order, Damn it's me and Paradox, are looking into it to try to get a hot fix off this baby because I want my CGs to be crisp. I don't want it to look like look like something out of an N64. Like, it's basically like, boy, if you don't get these N64 graphics out of my face! We are pretty much heading out. Like, that's what's gonna happen. Like, don't come up into this game. Like, don't bring us no N64 looking graphics, bro. You gotta look crisp, man. This is the PS4 and Xbox One. Or better yet, even on next-gen consoles, which I hear they're um, releasing all of the DLCs. Like, everything from 2022 till the very last drop in May of 2023 out this summer to get it all ready to go on the message. So, you know, these people gotta take their time and get it all right. Before they can finish send off the city down too. Anyway, this is 
part two of our little chapter to make it to the world tour. Anyway, this is SC Gret, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys.